Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I wanted to take a moment to just take a little break and rest because I've been in the garden absolutely all day long doing many jobs and uh, cleaning up, doing some amazing transplants and putting some stuff in the ground. So I'm so, so, so excited to share everything I've been doing here in the garden with you guys. But before I went ahead and used these beautiful succulents in my garden, I wanted to give you guys a quick tip about shopping right now that we're all going um, to the nursery. Some of us are going to the big store, the big box stores. Um, but one tip I want to give you guys is before you guys go to the big box store, I highly suggest that you guys go to your local nursery because for one obviously you guys want to support your local nursery so they can continue to stay open and they can continue to bring you all the rare varieties and different plants that um, the big box stores don't bring to us okay that's one of the benefits about shopping at the local nursery the other benefit is that brought this video to my attention and the reason why I'm doing this video is because I went to a small, probably one of the smallest local nurseries in my town, in my neighborhood near me, and um, these were only six dollars. These are humongous. You can tell that they have been in this container for a long time. You can tell that they're probably root bound if I take them out of here and there's tons of new growth, which means that I can propagate these, separate them and get tons of little plants out of these. These are so easy to propagate. You literally just take a piece off, which I'll show you guys here. Just take a piece off, just like that. Some of, some of us would let that dry. Unlike me, I just stick it in the ground and make sure that it stays a little moist because it does get hot here where I live. And basically, they'll just start popping up and growing, getting established, getting roots, and start growing. So that's one of the tips that I want to give you guys. Now, I went to, I'm going to say it, Home Depot just a few days after I went to pick these up at the local nursery. Like I said, there's about three major nurseries, and this happens to be the smallest nursery. Uh, in town and they had these plants for a dollar more I think they were seven dollars and it was half the size you can tell that these plants were barely transplanted if I pull them out of the box out of their container I'm pretty sure they would not be root bound I'm pretty sure it would probably be half soil half root and I can almost guarantee you that this is full of roots and yes I can see it in the bottom there's tons of roots coming out of the, the little holes at the bottom and it's full look at that so i just wanted to give you guys that tip because i know all of us are getting out there and shopping for our garden getting ideas and i um, trying to get the best deals because if you're anything like me you probably want to have tons of new plants in your garden this um spring or this season i am going to be adding tons of flowers to my garden because I ran out of room to grow any more fruit trees, so I'm going to be adding some um, some flowers to my garden and to my containers. But I don't like to commingle the plants, flowers, with my fruit trees, except the succulents, because they don't have a very deep root system. In fact, it's about an inch of a of a root. So succulents are fine to grow with fruit trees, just because. They don't. Uh, they won't overrun the container. They'll let the the actual fruit tree to do its thing. And as far as um, flowers, I don't necessarily know most of the flowers and what the root system is. So for that reason, I decided to do a uh, double container. So there's a container in there and another container on top of it. So in so I could just pull it out. It's a little bit stuck. I need both of my hands to show you guys. But as you guys can see, there's two containers. One that's going to hold the pocket here and the other one that I can just pull in and out whenever I want to change the, the plants to make it easier on me to add new soil and put a new plant in it. So that's what I'm going to be doing to a lot of my containers. Um, so I'm super excited. And I have three different varieties here. Um of flowers so I'm excited to see how beautiful these are gonna look once they start growing and kind of like waterfalling kind of like these banana uh, banana succulents these I have tons I'm 
the ones that I have put in my containers, they have overtaken the, not the container, but the front of the container. And some of them are even growing out to the ground. I'll show you guys an example that's here. I put some in here and as you can see, they are just like taking over the ground, which is fine because these are drought tolerance and this side of the house gets barely any water. Um, Nothing's growing very well here. So for that reason, I'm gonna let this take over this area and maybe eventually put some plants here once I decide what I wanna put in here. And I might put, um, um, what do you call it? A passion vine in here and let it kind of take over and kind of like go along this fence. Um, I haven't decided, I haven't made up my mind. But anyways, guys, just wanted to give you guys a quick tip about shopping and uh definitely check your local nurseries before you go to the big box stores some things are smarter to buy at the big box stores but if you want something better for your money as far as things like this the reason why this is overgrown because this is probably one of the leftover plants that they had from last season they overwinter it and now over the winter it's been growing and now in spring it's continued to grow to continue to grow and here we are uh, in spring it's probably this is probably like a year or two years old it's been sitting in that nursery and for that reason it's overflowing usually the big box stores only get enough plants to sell out during spring they move on to the next thing and um and sometimes they don't really take good care of them over winter. They end up throwing them away or giving them for on sale. And that's why they don't maintain their plants from the season before. And not to mention that a lot of us, or well, a lot of people go to the big box store. So they end up selling a lot of their stuff a lot faster than the smaller nurseries. All right, guys, I miss you all. I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos, but um, actually I have. I just haven't had the time to edit them. Um, as you guys can tell, I repotted this beautiful mulberry, weeping mulberry. This project was amazing. I'm gonna share that with you guys if I haven't already. Um, so I'm so excited, guys. I'm gonna try to edit tonight and just so, so, so happy to be out in the garden. I mean, I'm trying to record as much as I can, but I'm just so excited to be out here that I sometimes forget. Sorry about that. Sometimes we're good to grab the camera just because I want to get things done. But I will be doing a garden tour pretty soon because there's a lot of things happening here and I want to show you guys the updates on certain things and um, and the changes that I'm doing. I upload, up potted a few of my trees, which um, after pulling them out, they very, 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 well, I guess they really needed it. <laughs> Um, it was um, a well a job well done definitely for sure because once I pulled them out I was surprised to see how root bound they were and I'm hoping that I did it early enough that they can continue to grow over spring and summer all right guys I feel like I'm rambling like I tend to do and I'm so excited and I have so much information to give you guys um, so you guys can tell I'm a mess I am so dirty uh, I've been uh, in the garden like literally all day long today since the minute I woke up and it's probably like five in the afternoon already I barely took a moment to eat I fed my kids and I'm like all right guys peace out I'm going outside and they just been hanging out they've had friends over and hang out and they've been in the garden out there with me and watch me and we've been talking but I just literally have been working all day all right guys you guys have a blessed day I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the afternoon and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.